Hey, how is it going? My name is Otto and welcome back to the channel. When it comes to smartphone gimbals, there are different brands and different types of gimbals. And I know that you're looking for the best one available out there. Or that's what it seems like because everyone is asking me which one is the best. Today, I'm very excited about this gimbal. This is the TUIN Smooth 5, a smartphone gimbal that packs a lot of features. It has stronger motors, and I can tell you that it has a more professional feel and design than many other gimbals out there. This video is not sponsored. TUIN sent me this gimbal to test it out, but everything that I say is my own opinion. There are two versions available for sale. I have the combo package, and this comes with this cool carrying case a tripod, a hand strap, a USB-C charging cable, a field light, and a TUIN VIP member card for one year. The gimbal has a weight of 560 grams and the tripod weighs 50 grams. It can be folded for easier transportation, but this is not the kind of gimbal that will fit in your pocket. This is a three-axis gimbal and the stabilization works really well. The video clips that you see on this video do not have any kind of pose stabilization. Using this was exactly what I expected, a gimbal that could follow my own movements without weird movements. The design up here is the same one that bigger professional gimbals have, and this has a few advantages. For example, tilting up or down is going to have a greater range of movement. This will allow the user to make smooth movements like this instead of making an awkward movement. Setting up a smartphone and balancing it is easy. You just place the phone on the clamp, unlock this arm, and slide it left and right until the phone has been balanced. The clamp has a good size and it will most likely hold your phone with a case. This motor is on a lower level than the phone, so it doesn't block my view of the screen. The Smooth 5 can support heavy smartphones up to 300 grams. I decided to test this using my Samsung S21 Plus using the case and this wide angle lens with the clip. So this setup over here would be 310 grams. And as you can see, it's working just fine. Let's take a closer look at this. This is a field light that has a clever design. It is magnetic and you can turn it around on the gimbal. It works on landscape and portrait mode. It is dimmable, it is very bright and this is almost like a flashlight. It also comes with these magnetic color filters and if you don't need to use the light, you can just put it away. This gimbal has a large battery that will last for at least 24 hours according to my tests. You can use the gimbal to charge your smartphone, the USB-C port is here at the top and because of the design, I would suggest getting a USB-C cable that is short and with an L shape at the same time. The build quality is really good and the design of the gimbal is almost perfect. On the main body, there's plenty of room for my hand, which is not covering the buttons or the joystick when I hold it. There is a huge rubber grip on the handle. On the back, we have a trigger, a USB-C charging port, as well as a locking mechanism to lock the gimbal when you're not using it. The trigger will let you activate tracking mode with a single press and it will recenter the phone if you double press it. Triple pressing the trigger will make the camera turn around like this. On the left side, the gimbal has this big wheel that can be used to zoom in or to zoom out. And if you press the button in the middle, you will be able to manually focus with the wheel. This is not something new on the smartphone gimbals, but the way this one works, it's really smooth. No pun intended. Having a wheel to zoom or to focus, it's much better than just having a slider, as this is going to give you a more precise control. Android users are going to like that the focus wheel works without any issues. For iPhone, it's only going to work when you select manual settings, but I get the feeling that this will be fixed. One of the things that will make this gimbal special is the full control that you get in your fingertips. On the front panel, there is a lot going on. This is a more professional joystick than what you normally get on other gimbals. It will move the camera around, you can control the speed of the movement, it is omnidirectional, and it feels very good. 
we can access a main menu from here, turn the fill light on or off, and control the brightness with the dial. With the dial, I can also change the ISO, the resolution, frame rates, and we can go to the playback section to view our pictures and videos. We also have this mode button that will change the different gimbal modes. And this is something that I like to have on any kind of gimbal. It makes it easier to switch from one mode to the other without having to go into the menus. And this is a big advantage if you're using the native camera app or any other camera app. You can also look at the light status to double check the mode that you're on, but you need to look at those lights on a straight angle, and then you will see the letters corresponding to each mode. If the gimbal is on a lower position, the status light is barely going to be visible. Not a big deal, but yeah. The Smooth 5 has the four basic gimbal modes that we expect to find on any gimbal, which are pan follow, lock mode, follow mode, and POV. On the right side, besides the power button, there is a function button that can be customized, and there is also a quarter inch thread hole for expansions. We also have other modes available. The vortex mode is where you can make the smartphone spin around. This is the only smartphone gimbal that I know that will spin without limits, and because of the way it's designed, the arms will never get on the way. Under a slung mode works without issues, and this will let you take low angle shots, and all you have to do is flip the gimbal upside down. Phone go is what we know as a sport mode, and this will make the gimbal react faster to your movements. This is useful when you want to capture the action, or when you need the gimbal to be more responsive. Phone go. It doesn't sound too good. Ji Yuin, how about we call it action mode? Think about it. To use this gimbal, you will need the Qi Yuin Kami app. On the menu, you can adjust the zoom and the joystick speed, the white balance, and whether you want the gesture control to just record or to record and track at the same time. The Smooth 5 has object and face tracking. To activate the tracking, you can select the subject on the screen or you can press the trigger once. On the app, you can select the camera mode that you want to use. We have video mode at 4K, photo mode, slow motion, time lapses, hyperlapses, and panorama shots. Dolly zoom is also available. Time lapses will have a maximum resolution of 4K, and hyperlapses and slow motion will only allow 1080p. For video mode, if you have an iPhone, you will be able to use 24, 25, 30, or 60 frames per second and you can also select between manual and automatic mode. On manual, you can change the ISO and the shutter speed. With my Samsung S21 Plus, I was able to select 24 and 30 frames per second, but there is no manual mode, no slow motion, and I don't think that I can lock the exposure either. When I had to shoot at 60 frames per second, I just used the native camera app that comes with the smartphone. The app also offers a basic video editor and a good selection of video templates to help you make short videos. There are two things that I don't like about this gimbal. Number one, when I want to fold the gimbal, the arm will hit the motor down here. This means that I have to unlock the arm to adjust it, and that means that I have to rebalance it again next time I want to use it. Number two, it's not really about the gimbal, but if you buy the standard package, you're not going to get the fill light. And that kind of makes me sad. The good news, you can buy the combo package to get it, or I think you're going to be able to buy this as an accessory. Links to this product and everything that I use to film are going to be down below. Tell me what you think about this gimbal in the comment section. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.